Hello everybody. Lesson 17 is going to be a very interesting lesson for football fans. And if you are an Arsenal fan like I am, you will enjoy this even more. As I normally do, before starting with the lesson, let me demonstrate what we have in the box today. I have a table that displays home and away stats and total points for the selected team. Then there is a drop down list to select team name and based on the selected team, the stats for that particular team will automatically be displayed. Then below there is a graph to display home victories versus away victories. The best thing about this sheet is that it is linked to the arsenal.com website and will refresh after defined time intervals to display the real data. I have done this using the web query feature. So let's go to the web query sheet. This data is coming directly from the arsenal.com website and will refresh after the defined time interval. Based on this data, this table and the graph is made. So let's build this from scratch. I'll delete the graph sheet and insert a new sheet. To go to the web query option, click on the data tab and select from web. Window for a new web query opens up. This window is somewhat like your web browser where you can open different websites. So let's put the web address www.arsenal.com and click on go. Then I'll go to pictures and results. and I'll select tables and once the table is visible I'll click on import so it's asking me where I want to import the data from the website so I'll leave it as it is cell A1 on the existing sheet and click OK alright so I have the data from the website on my excel sheet then I'll copy the headers and paste it on the graph sheet. I'll change the alignment a little bit to make it look better. Add borders and I'll color the headers green with a white font make it bold if you will. Then under team name I need to insert a drop down list so I'll go to the data validation and select data validation again. I'll allow list and my source is this. Click OK. So I have all the team names available. Then I'll use the VLOOKUP function. My lookup value is this. I'll use F4 to lock it in all directions table array this again the F4 key to lock it in all directions comma column index number 2 and 0 for exact match now I shouldn't be hard coding this column index number because if I drag my formula across this won't change so instead of putting 2 directly I'll use a column function and refer it to column B. So the serial number for column B is 2. And because this is relative reference, if I drag the formula across, this will change from B1 to C1 to D1. Let's see if the formula works. And it does. Let's try changing the team name. And the data for that particular team is displayed. Now the next step is to build a chart. So I'll select all the team names. Then I'll press the control key to select non-contiguous ranges. And I'll select all the home victories and then away victories. 
and use the short key Alt F1 to insert a default chart. I'll delete the chart title and also the legend. Then I'll go to change chart type and change this to a line chart. Right click on the chart and select move chart and move it to the graph sheet. Then I'll place the chart below my table and I'll resize it. Alright. Now right click on the web query and change the refresh interval to 1 minute. Press OK. Obviously your leak table won't change after every 1 minute. So to display changes I just randomly change the positions then I sort the data now this data is going to refresh after every one minute because I've set the refresh interval to one minute. Keep an eye out on the team names and also at the right bottom corner where you'll get a notification when the data is being refreshed. Also notice the stats in the table, even those will change. The old data was replaced by the new data and then the chart and this table automatically changed accordingly. I hope my video helped. Thank you.